may not be everyone's idea of high fashion. Yet when you think about how long most schoolgoers spend in theirs, it's surprising how little thought often goes into their actual design. Right now we're on the school bus heading to the co-ed in Kildicer, about 15 miles outside Ennis in County Clare, where after 31 years they've decided that it's now time to update their existing uniforms. Here at Kildicer, however, it was no ordinary school uniform overhaul, with the students themselves involved throughout. They felt the colour was a little bit dowdy, a little bit dull, and the style was really old-fashioned. Uh, they're very much into clothes and uh, colours, and so they said to me, how about a change? So we put it to the staff and to the principal, Sister Patricia, could we go about changing it? So she said she would leave it open and she would let us come up with the new ideas. It's very depressing, this one, like, you come in on a Monday morning, like, you know, in a brown uniform, really. Brown is very dark colour for the boys, like, girls might wear it more, but boys would never wear a brown uniform. I wore brown myself to school now, and I really think, you know, I didn't enjoy wearing brown, and they don't either. Uh, previous to this, they didn't really have any input into the actual um, uniform as such, but nowadays, like, Kids go out and they buy their own clothes. It was been chosen by the pupils and everything. Yeah. So at least they know what um, young people like and so. Some bright like colour would be nice. And it's still a skirt and a jumper like I wouldn't like a pin for or anything. I prefer to wear pants than a skirt like it's tight and it's not very nice. If they come up with a design that suits them then that's that's even suits us even better. Because we'll um, get less complaints, more or less at the end of the day. When it came to suggestions for the new school uniform, the students at St. John Bosco were well positioned to contribute, fashion studies being an important part of their home economics course. The fifth year class were chosen to lead the way, practical help and advice coming from Joe Clancy, a Limerick-based uniform manufacturer with plenty of experience in such matters. Okay, so we'll have table one. What, have you any ideas? She had a fond um, skirt like this in the magazine, there's a magazine there, and we decided we really liked the skirt. The sheep is what we were worried about, and Ethel's skirt's home, which fits the sheep. Uh, Ethel's skirt that uh, we've seen on her is going to be suited everybody. I think uh, a better suggestion might be the skirt we've seen from table two. We decided on a different type of skirt, something onto a tan. It's um, straight, and it's got a, a bent front and back, and it's got elastic at the waist. But um, we decided on a different colour, something onto this, the blue colour. And um, this is the overall look with a green jumper and a um, blue and green striped tie and a white blouse. I like that skirt. I think that would work. It will suit everybody's figure, which is important. Just referring to the jumper, we were thinking um, maybe teal would be a practical colour for both boys and girls. I had this ball of wool at home, and I think it would go nice with maybe a red crest on the sleeve or something like that. And we were just looking it up against the navy trousers here. Um, we were thinking about for the um, trousers to um, put uh, turnips and pleats on them. I would think that if we got the crest on the left-hand side of the jumper, uh, embroidered in red, it would be quite right, nice. Yeah. Right, yeah. And I think that um, Martin's idea about the pants being a, a nice loose fitting is quite a good idea. Now, I kind of like the look of these two here, although the colours are a bit bright. Having said that, he looks very familiar, doesn't he? They've come up actually with brilliant ideas that you could never think about yourself. One I fancy quite a lot myself is a check idea with a black or red jumper and that. And I, I fancy that, but there's a problem maybe with the availability of the check. The other problem that's holding us back a little bit is money, price. We feel we need to keep it as low as we can, but still have a good quality. Next, it was into Joe's Joanne Ross headquarters in Limerick City. All suggestions by now narrowed down to one final, practical, workable choice. Some of the ideas were brilliant, more of them were a bit far-fetched. Uh, I didn't think to realise that uh, we had to go on the availability of uh, cloth for maybe 10 years' time. Uh, some of them picked some check material, but I think the plans will be more serviceable. But we're in the process now of actually uh, doing the pattern, and we're beginning to cut it out and put it together, so everything is taking shape. It's got to be durable, hard-wearing, uh, washable, of course, because uh, if we're going to send it to the cleaners, it'll cost uh, the mum and dads a small fortune. So uh, we've got to have something durable that, that will take uh, a good wear and be able to be washed at home. Back to the old school. A 
few weeks later, a sample selection of the new uniform in all its variations was ready for its first public airing. Five of the school students making their modelling debut in its honour. We have the blazer with a short tie and trousers, which is fairly sophisticated if any of the guys want to go into that idea. The girls then have, again, the few options, blazer with the skirt and the short and tie, where they can team in with the polo neck, the jumper and the trousers. So it'll be a nice, um, easy kind of a look for the winter time. Very happy with the overall look. I feel uh, that the kids even, I can feel the excitement in them. They're extremely happy and I feel it's great when they have the overall choosing of it. It's their choice, so I feel they're going to be very happy about it. I very much like it. I think we have talked about the change for a long time. And I like the navy and green that they have chosen. And I think what I like most about it maybe is the fact that they have been in on the designing of it, you know, and that hopefully having chosen it themselves is something they will enjoy wearing. But would they really enjoy wearing their new look uniform? Okay, hands up all those in favor of the switch.